Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Tam's Psych Advice. I'm Tamara, and today I'm going to do an ENFJ life because I'm an ENFJ and I like to tell you a couple of personal stories here and there, and I use ENFJ life as a way to do that um and and be just a little bit more personable because I think Believe it or not, I struggle with that a little bit, especially on here. I tend to be a little bit private. And so um, I just thought of a couple of, you know, I was, I thought of something that I had forgotten about that I, I probably haven't thought about for years. And it was a time that I heard that I actually heard God's voice. And then, um, but I'm going to start with another little story that's kind of, you know, it's about God too. I'm a Christian. And so I was talking to this little boy the other day and he was talking to me about some problems he was having. And he said, you know, he started talking about God and Jesus. And he told me who Jesus was. And I, you know, I said, well, do you pray about, you know, to him about the things that you're telling me? And he said, well, I don't actually know how to talk to him. And I just said, well, I talk to him like he's a friend. I'm not a, you know, I'm not fancy with my prayers. I just tell him, you know, what, you know, if I'm having a problem or I need his help or just to thank him or just to communicate just like I would a friend or somebody, you know, and then I just end it with in Jesus name, you know. And so I started telling him a story of something that happened when I was around his age, maybe a little bit older. And so when I was about his age, they still paddled in schools. And I think from what somebody told me recently, the state that I'm in, there are still places that paddle so um, in schools. So when I was a kid, I remember I was late to class and you never knew uh, if it was going to be one of those days, but there was a principal waiting where I was going into my band class. And I was like, oh man. And then there were s- several of us that were late. And I said, um, I just said a prayer. I said, please God, don't let him hit me. You know, And so I stood and I waited for my turn. And I don't know what happened. I think he thought he had hit me already, but he didn't hit me. And and so I just went into band class and I was like, thank you, Jesus. You know, so prayer works. You know, prayer does work. God exists. He's real. And we need him. I I can't function without God. I'm thankful that I'm connected to him. And yeah, so I would just say if you're having a problem and you don't know how to solve it, talk to God. He created this earth. So there was another time that I thought of that I'd forgotten about when I was in college I remember walking up the stairs to my dorm and there were these big windows that you could look out and I saw the biggest clouds I have ever seen in my life. They were ginormous and it freaked me out. I started going up those big flights of winding stairs faster, faster, like Like I was trying to get away from them, you know, away from the clouds. I was like, what's happening? You know, I know that chicken little story is not real where he talks about the sky is falling, but it just, these clouds were massive. I mean, they were huge. And I was just like, I don't know what's going on here. And then I, in my freak out, I heard God say, and now I can't remember exactly what he said. But he told me, it's it's just rain. You know, it's going to rain. That's all. And I was like, oh, phew. And it turned out to be that simple. Just a little bit of rain, nothing major. The clouds were just billowing and huge. Here, I'll, sh- I'll try to show you a picture here. 
these are actually pictures of clouds that I recently took the other day by my house and I had that same feeling where I was freaking out like these clouds are so big I hope we're not about to have bad weather what in the world these they're gigantic and what calmed me down was all of a sudden I remember that memory that I had forgotten all about where God spoke to me and he told me it's you know basically it's gonna be okay it's just rain and just like the last time nothing happened you know I don't even know if any rain happened they just were big beautiful really really pretty clouds but I took a picture because it brought me back a great memory um one of the times when I heard God speak and you know you I make so many videos on here I don't even remember what stories I've told before you know but I've had several times when I've heard God speak to me like audibly you know one of the times I don't know if I told on here um was when me and my mom were about to cross a street and we were if we had taken another step we would have gotten hit by a car. Actually, that time I, I didn't hear anything, but I felt something that made me stop that came over my body. It was, I've never felt that feeling ever, ever again. And um, my mom said, why are we stopping? And I said, we need to be careful. And this is when I was younger too. I was just like, we need to be careful. And she was yelling at me like, why are we stopping? What are you doing? And I said, we need to be careful. And this lady zoomed by. She looked like she was high or something. Just zoomed out of nowhere. And we would have been hit. I mean, if we hadn't stopped. So, you know, you think, okay, <laughs> my life must have some kind of purpose. Because, you know, I mean, that's the good thing about having God in your life. Is you have that other layer that's you know, God is there to help you um, with situations that you can be in. So anyway, let me know um, if you've ever heard God talk to you or any prayers that you've had answered that were really important or just something that was just light and easy. But just, you know, just I would love to hear of your experiences in the comments as well. So if you're an ENFJ and you want me to do more ENFJ videos, be sure to like this video. Also, if you love love like I love love, check out my book, Flip the Script on Love, especially if you're struggling in love or in, and you need a little help in that area and you want to make your love life better, then I highly suggest you check out my book. I think you'll have fun reading it. So you guys take care. Have a blessed day rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!